Welcome to this lesson on trig. I was looking for trig examples on YouTube and ran into some wrong ones, also some right ones that could be improved upon. In this lesson, I will do three such examples. Remember tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant? They're all defined in terms of sine and cosine. So let's review those. Tangent is sine of a cosine. Cotangent is defined to be 1 over tangent. Therefore, it is cosine of a sine. Secant is 1 over cosine. Cosecant is 1 over sine. And the only identity that we'll make use of here is the cosine squared plus sine squared one. Okay, let's look at the first problem. We are asked to prove cosine squared theta times tangent squared theta plus 1 equals 1. There's only one logical cause of action. Our only choice is to take the cosine squared side, simplify it as much as we can, and hope that our answer comes out to 1. The usual approach is to change everything into sines and cosines. So let's give it a try. Cosine squared theta times tan squared theta plus 1 equals cosine squared theta, nothing to do, so just copy it down. But tan squared theta can be changed into sines and cosines. We get sine squared theta over cosine squared theta plus that 1. Next, distribute the cosine squared theta into the factor. We have the cosine squared theta is canceling in the first term. We have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta times 1. We get cosine squared theta. And there's our trig identity. That equals 1. And that's exactly what we want it to get. Therefore, cosine squared theta times tan squared theta plus 1 is equal to 1. Ready for the next example? In this one, we're asked to show that cosine theta over secant theta plus sine theta over cosecant theta equals 1. Same thing. We'll just take the left side, simplify it as much as we can, and hope that it comes out equal to 1. Here we go. Cosine theta over secant theta plus sine theta over cosecant theta equals, look at the first term, cosine theta over secant theta. Uh, there are many ways to do this, but I think the easier way is just to pull the 1 over secant theta out to the side. Rewrite the term as cosine theta times 1 over secant theta. Do the same with the second term. Leave the sine theta alone. Pull the 1 over cosecant theta to the side. Now we have cosine theta times 1 over secant theta. That is cosine theta. Plus sine theta times the reciprocal of cosecant theta is sine theta. This becomes cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, which is 1. We got it. Therefore, cosine theta over secant theta plus sine theta over cosecant theta is equal to 1. Here's example 3. Prove that cosecant squared x over cotangent x equals cosecant x times secant x. All right, so let's do the same thing. Take the left-hand side and see whether we could simplify it until we get cosecant x times secant x. We have the left side is cosecant squared x over cotangent x. 
Do the same thing as we did in the previous example. The 1 over cotangent x, just pull it to the side. It makes it look simpler. Cosecant is 1 over sine, so we have cosecant squared x is 1 over sine squared x. And 1 over cotangent x, what's that? Tan x, right? Or you could right away put in sine x over cosine x if you wish. Now a sine x factor cancels. And we are left with 1 over sine x times cosine x. Does it look like we hit a dead end? Well, if you think we did, we can just start working with the right-hand side and see whether we reach the same conclusion. The right-hand side is cosecant x times secant x. Cosecant x is 1 over sine x. Secant x is 1 over cosine x. And we do get 1 over sine x times cosine x. Since the left-hand side equals to the right-hand side, we did prove that cosecant squared x over cotangent x equals cosecant x times secant x. You probably noticed a different way to do this problem. See the left-hand side? We can just keep going and split that fraction into 1 over sine x times 1 over cosine x. If we had done that, we would get the cosecant x times secant x right there and be done. So that would have been a little faster, but it doesn't matter. Splitting a problem into a left-hand side and a right-hand side is an important technique to learn. Know what? I just looked at the problem and noticed something else. There's a cosecant x on both sides. It's enough to show that cosecant x over cotangent x is secant x, right? All right, let's give that a try. Redo this problem, see how much easier it is. Cosecant x over cotangent x is cosecant x times the 1 over cotangent can be written as tangent. The cosecant x becomes 1 over sine x. Tangent x is sine x over cosine x. The sine x's cancel. We have 1 over cosine x. That is secant x. Wow, that was easy. Since cosecant of x over cotangent x is secant x, it follows that cosecant squared x over cotangent of x is cosecant x times secant x. QED. Hope you had fun with those proofs. We'll do more next time. Bye.